Hi, my name's Ashley. I'm going to be talking today about the Ultra Touring 4. The Ultra Tourings are a road running shoe. Uh, the good thing, or the main thing about Ultra is that they've got the foot shaped toe box, so a nice wide toe box, and they're zero drop, which means that uh, they're a 26 mil stack height, and they're the same height in the heel as they are in the forefoot. So it gives a much more natural gait and a nice foot strike, nice wide area, for running in, they're great. Uh, a great daily trainer. They're nice to run in any weather. I bought these at the end of uh, 2019, so ran through them through the entire winter and now in the really hot weather in the summer here in the UK as well. And they've been a good shoe to run in. So let's get into it. Talk a bit a bit, bit more about them. The idea of the zero drop, all the ultra shoe range for running a zero drop and I really like them. This is my first pair of zero drop uh, shoes. Uh, I like them so much that I, I bought a pair of trail runners as well. So I've got the uh, ultra superior fours as well and uh, they're a really nice run as well. I've not had much of a chance to take those out because I bought them just before the lockdown. but back to the Touring 4, they've got a great lacing system, uh, it's like a dual layer lacing system, the laces are really strong so you can really pull them in, get a really good lockdown over the foot and even though they've got this super wide toe box and super wide outsole as well, your foot doesn't slide around in them because the lockdown is so good across the midfoot and there's no heel slippage or anything like that, they are very stable shoes to run in. They are a neutral runner, so they're not designed to be stability shoes or anything of that nature. These are Taurine's best selling road shoe and I can understand why. The lockdown I think is partially due to this lacing system where they've got a layer inside that the laces go through and then a layer on the outside as a standard running shoe would have as well. This piece of fabric on the tongue keeps them nice and locked in and they've got a pull tab on the back and on the tongue so they're easy to get on and off. There's nice cushioning around the and nice padding around the actual ankle and heel and even though there are quite a few overlays around the heel area it is a very very soft heel so it's really comfortable. The longest run I've done in these is 52k uh, so about 32 miles and they, they were absolutely brilliant uh, really fantastic shoe to run in. Long runs are great and um, they're also pretty good on a fast day as well. I managed to shave 15 minutes off my half marathon time in these in February just before the lockdown so they're good to go pretty quick in over moderate to long distance. They've got the Quantic midsole as well so I think this is the first time that they were used, the Ultra used the Quantic in the midsole. 
it's a great mid tool. I've got about 300 miles, so I've got about 500k in these at the minute, and the the wear on them is absolutely minimal. Um, I was a bit concerned because I know that Ultras haven't got the best reputation for reliability, uh, more in their trail running shoes than their road runners. But even so, it's always a concern that they might not be the most durable shoes. But after 300 miles, 500 kilometres, the only wear really is along this lateral edge where some of the raised parts of the tread have worn flat. Other than that, they're looking pretty good. There's no wear at all on the upper. It's a dual layered engineer mesh and no wear at all, which is absolutely fantastic because uh, not everybody wants to be running out buying running shoes every uh, every time, every couple of hundred miles. So it's very nice that they are durable and I can foresee them you know, going at least another couple of hundred miles. They've not lost any of the cushioning or the bounce either, which is really good. They don't feel like they're wearing out at all. They've got this lovely insole in them, which has got this sort of ventilated design. So it's got an aerated design of perforations punched through the forefoot and also the midfoot towards the heel. And it just gives a really nice sensation. <laughs> It's a really, it's soft, but it's not marshmallow. You know, you still get a bit of energy return from them. So you can still go at fairly quick paces when you need to. Um, but on the whole, it just makes them for a really, really comfortable fit. I actually went into the store where I bought these from to get a pair of trail runners. And while the assistant was out getting my size, I tried these on and I just fell in love. So I had to save up some more pennies and go back and get some trail runners a bit later on, which is the superior. Um, these are the 4.0. I know the 4.5 are due out soon, so it'd be interested to, interesting to see how they compare. And they did two versions of the Touring 4. They did the Plush and the Crush. This is the Crush. A slightly lighter weight, a little bit less padding in the insole. Uh, and that had a, a knitted upper, whereas this is a dual layer mesh. So I just wanted the slightly lighter weight. I was coming from some really very lightweight Adidas, Adi Zero Sub 2s. And you can see here, the these have got an eight mil drop. So they're really, really minimal in the forefoot. And they've just got a bit of padding, a bit of boost light in the sole. But these, are completely different shoes they were made for different things but these have gone through on the sole already at about the same distance the outsoles worn through completely and it's gone flat on the heel as well whereas these as I say are the anywhere at all so that's really nice they're very flexible as well so even though they're 20 26 mil um, stack height they're still nice and flexible They've got plenty of uh, flex in there, so they're nice to toe off when you want to pick up the speed. But like I say, they're, they're nice and soft, but without being without sucking all the energy out of your uh, foot strike. So I've really enjoyed running in them very, very much. I look forward to putting a lot more miles in them as well. There's one thing that is <laughs> annoying about them, and that is the laces the laces are so long i mean they're ridiculously long i'm using the extra eye loop here so all the eye loops on the uh, lacing system including the one right at the top and i do a runner's knot in them as well um but the first i don't know first 10 times i took these out they came undone on every single run so now i double knot them which isn't too much of a problem it solved it they did actually come undone once when i double knotted them as well but uh, so it's not too much of an issue. It's just a bit of a pain when you get home and they're soaking wet and you have to try and undo a double knot with cold hands. But I mean, it's nothing really. I'd still have them again. And I think with the 4.5 coming out, these are gonna be the sale bargain of the year. If these get knocked down, they're 120 pounds, uh, Great British pounds, so in the, and 
that's an absolute bargain. I managed to get mine at runner's needs and I got a really good deal on them. So I got £20 for taking an old pair of trainers in. So I took an old pair of Brooks Glycerin 13 in, which had batted first ever real pair of running shoes. They were they were pretty hammered. Um, and I took them in and they get me £20 off. So I actually got these for £100 brand new in the store, which was absolutely fantastic. I couldn't recommend them enough absolutely brilliant running shoes and if they go in the sale I might even get myself another pair absolutely brilliant highly recommended so question I'd like to ask is have you ever run in a zero drop shoe do you run in ultras now how do you find them do you think that they're a good idea with the zero drop I haven't had any problems with injuries since I've got these I think they're fantastic the trail runners I got were also ultras, also zero drop, fairly minimal stack height as well, nice logs on the bottom, looking forward to getting loads of miles in those on the trails. But for these, very, very pleased. Have you running them? Touring 4? Are you looking forward to the Touring 4.5? Answers down below. It'd be nice to see your comments and uh, yeah, look forward to doing another video when I get some miles on these once we're out, a bit more out of lockdown and I can get out on the trails I'll be doing uh, a review on these as well let you know how I get on with these thanks very much take care bye bye